Hi there, Obhik here. So in this video, we are going to create a Pomodoro timer with bell. And so on pressing this start focus, the timer starts and you can see a circular progress indicator on top with blue color. And you can also pause this and also resume this timer as well as you can also reset this timer. Also, you can, you know, uh, customize the timings for focus. Like if I write here two minutes and for here, if I write break time for five minutes and save the settings, you can see here the break time and the focus time time changes to this value. Also now, it looks like th this on laptop screens as well. So this is how it looks like. And you can see the pulse animation here as soon as it uh, reaches to uh, near about to end. And then comes the start break option. So this is what we are going to and if you press the start break then the break will start again. So this is what we are going to build in this uh, video and it will be uh, with vanilla JS, HTML and CSS. So let's get so in the HTML, I have already created a h1 tag with Pomodoro timer with bell and now I will create a div with class name clock and inside that I will have a div with this colon sign. Also I will have a div with class name mins which is which stands for minutes and I will give us m0 and also I will have a seconds div with double zero. Now inside that I will also have an audio which will play the bell. I mean this is the bell which will be played after the timer reaches. So it's final position. So, so this is the link I will give in the description. And obviously now I will create the SVG which will be our circular progress indicator. So for that I will create a class with progress ring and I will give it a height or and width of 120 pixels each. I mean 120 each. Now inside that SVG I will have a circle and in this circle element will have a class name of progress ring double underscore circle. And with that I will have a stroke width of 8, fill will be transparent, R will be 50 and CXCY will be 60 as well. And then I will close the SVG tags and now I will create the button group div which will have three buttons start focus with the class name of start, reset and pause. And initially it will have a uh, text of start focus but later on we, it, it, uh, its text will be modified. Also then I will have a form with action dot and inside that I will have two inputs and both will be of type number and value will be one and first one will have an ID of focus time and second one will have an ID of break time and then I will have a button with type submit which will save the settings then I will actually create three JS files settings.js, timer.js and progress.js and I will link them in the script tags also note one thing that I have also linked this style.css which I have created here so now let's stylize the CSS first. So I will give them padding 0, margin 0, box sizing, border box. Then the body will have a height of 100 bh and uh, padding will be 35 pixel. I will give them some font family which I have linked in the description obviously. And then I will give them some background color and like that. So this is not a CSS tutorial. Uh, mostly this will be uh, uh, focusing on JS. So I will not uh, go line by line for the CSS. So I will give some styles for the H1. Then I will give some style for the input, input in the forms. Uh, then I will give the button group some styling and uh, overall and then I will give all buttons some styling. And then for the form I will give them each some styles. Form button will have some styles. So the save settings button. And then for each of the buttons start, break, reset, pause and resume. So these uh, there are some classes which you cannot see here uh, see in the HTML but those classes will be later on required for the JS so I will mean used by the JS so I will give them some styling as well then I will stylize the clock and I will give the progress ring that is the SVG and it will be in the center position so I will center it first of all and the progress ring circle this is something uh, st uh, style that is uh, very necessary to understand that transition should be given uh, I have given 0.5 seconds and transform should be rotate minus 90 degree this is very essential so uh, you will understand when I do it and transform origin should be 50% 50% that's very necessary and I have given the stroke some color you can give any color but uh, make sure that you have given some color to the stroke either in the CSS or in the circle a HTML and I will also give some animation so I will create an animation like keyframe pulse 
which will have for 0% and 100% the transform will be scale 1 and for 50% the 1.05 and for 75% uh, it will be 0.8 and this rotate minus 90 degree should be constant so that I have actually giving this to the this program progress ring circle so this danger class will be added to the progress ring circle so for that we need this transform rotate minus 90 degree fixed uh, so with that being done I will now uh, stylize the media queries so for all devices above 768 pixels I will give them the display of grid and grid templates areas will be like this and GI this G is something that is un that will remain unused and uh, so that it takes up some space so that's why I have given this so I will stylize them accordingly and I will give all of them grid area accordingly and then so what I have done here is I have got these items from the uh, I have got these items and uh, using this document dot query selector and I have also added an event listener for the uh, uh, to the start button for the click event and I have also set this btn item to uh, with the value of focus to the local storage. Now what I will do is I will have some I will declare some uh, variables initial total ACSCS PRC paused means seconds and these will be necessary for the timer. So now what I will do is I will get the so when this uh, start buttons is clicked then we will get the item uh, from the BTN item from the local storage and we will assign it to the BTN and then we will check if the BTN is focus which will be initially said then we will get, uh, give the means uh, I will uh, we will assign the means to a value that is we get from the local storage that is this focus time right and we will set this plus so that this local storage dot get item focus time returns an integer only so in by default it will return a string so it will be converted to integer with this plus also if uh, it is not btn is not equal to focus then obviously btn will be set to break and if that is the true then we will get the break time and we will set it to the means then what i will do is i will assign the means into 60 to both the seconds and total six and total six will be re required for the circular progress indicator not required now and seconds will be uh, required for the timer and then we will set the timer to decrement function which i will create shortly and for 60 milliseconds and also i will give the transform scale zero to the start button and also i will do one thing that is pause will be set to false now what i will do is so whenever the decrement function will be called these things will happen so the mean diff text content will be set to the math dot floor seconds by 60 so whatever the minute is then we will also set the text content of the seg div to seconds percentile 60 that will return these values and we will also check one more thing that is if it is greater than 9 then it is a double digit number then we will return the seconds percentile 60 otherwise if it is a single digit number then we will return it in a format like 0 seconds percentile 60 so it will return something like 0, 07 0, 06 0, 05 etc and if we will also do one more thing that is we will check if the seconds is greater than 0 so if it is greater than 0 then we will run the timer so seconds will be decremented by 1 if every time decrement function is called and we will also assign initial to this window set timeout decrement 1000 milliseconds so what this means is that we will <coughs> so we will set this initial to this window set timeout so we will uh, actually call decrement function one second after one second passes and then one second after one second passes so like that we will do until seconds reaches to zero and if the second is actually set to zero or less than zero which will not be the case we will seconds will be obviously zero then what we will do is we will set the means and seconds to zero and bell dot play so the audio here is played then we will now we will once again get the btn item from local storage and we will check if the btn item is focus if it is focus then we will set the text content of start button to start break and start buttons class list will be added to break and also we will set the btn item to break now so once focus time a timer has uh, reached its destination we will set it to break timer and if vice versa so we will remove the break class we will set it to start focus once again and we will set item btn to focus once again and one more thing that is we will do which is outside of the if conditions are 
that we will transform the scale to 1 start buttons now let's create the progress so circular progress indicator we will get this uh, progress ring circle uh, double, that is the circle element in the SBG and then we will cal uh, calculate the radius of it so we, it will be present in the r dot base value dot base well dot value and then we will calculate the circumference which is which formula is 2 pi r then we will set the stroke dash area of the circle and stroke dash offset of the circle to the circumference then what i will do is set the progress so this progress uh, function will be taking this uh, percentile at uh, this percentage and then it will calculate the offset and this is the formula for calculating the offset and then it will set the stroke dash offset to the offset now one more thing that i will do is for the settings that js what i will do is so if the we will add event listener to form for the submit event and we will add event listener to the reset for the click event and also for the pause button i will add some event listener uh, for the click event and now first of all for the form event what i will do is i will set item for the focus time will be this focus input value and the break input value those are the inputs so their values will be set to the respectively to the uh, local story and e dot event default will ensure that the page is not reloaded and for the start button what i will do is style the transform will be scale one clear timeout will initial so reset when reset happens so we will clear this initial timeout and this initial is this initial timeout which we created so we need to give the name just for clearing the timeout then we will set the progress to zero and min div and sec div will have zero text content as well now inside the pause button if the pause is actually undefined that means the timer has not been started yet then we will return it otherwise if the pa uh, pause time uh, is uh, paused is value is true or uh, true then we will do something and else we will do something else so if the paused value is false which will be initially set when the timer starts then we will clear the timeout initial we will set the pause to true and we will also give some text content and class list to the pause so that it becomes resume resume button otherwise if the paused value is true that means we, it is already paused then it is a resumed button then we will set the paused value to false we will reassign the set time of decrement 62 initial as well and we will make it a make it the pause button as well now what we will do is we will uh, adjust the circular progress indicator with the seconds so the progress is set so for that what we will i will do first is we will calculate the percentage so for that i will uh, subtract the um, seconds from the total seconds and then i will divide it by total seconds after that i will multiply it with 100 so that will calculate the percentage which will be between 0 and 100 then i will set progress this prc variable all right so now after that what i will do is if the seconds is value is less than 10 then it is a single digit number then we will add this danger class and also one more thing that we must do is we will remove this danger class for if it contains in the beginning that's because whenever we need that whenever we reset it we uh, reset it or we start another timer then also this danger class will be remained so for that we need to remove it and that's how we will remove it so let me save this and now let's see it in action so here you can see that the whenever we reload this page the first thing that is in the local storage the button will be focus a uh, button focus will be present as we have done it earlier now what we need to do is we first need to set some timings i am setting here the default values that is one and then i will to save the settings and after save saving settings this focus time and break time will be saved here after that we need to start the timer so if we start the timer before we set this then we will have some error so after I start the timer, then you can see the circular progress indicator working. If I reset it, it is reset back again. If I start the focus and then if I pause it, then you can see that it is paused to 58 seconds and then again we can resume it. So it's working absolutely fine. So you can see here the pulse animation has started. So the pulse animation is happening and I'm sure you can hear the bell also right now. And you saw that the start break now it comes here and if i start the break then it will say start the break as well so you can find the entire code here uh, this is the final code you can find here in the github repo and i have linked it in the description 
so thank you for watching this video if you are benefited from this video then do leave a like and comment and subscribe to my channel otherwise thank you for watching this video and for my subscribers thank you for supporting me